Hi YouTube, I've just really wanted to do a video um, lately um, but I've just not had the minerals to do it because I've just not felt uh, confident enough but um, there are things that I want to say and I should not feel that my words are not important and I know that no one else is telling me this, it is me um, and I had a little think last night and I realised why and that's, um, so I was watching the Dr Phil uh, and Jehovah's Witnesses um, where this woman uh, attends to say she no longer wants to be a Jehovah's Witness so she and her son are being shunned and so forth and um, Dr Phil kind of asked her why, what is the reason and I don't feel like she gave a compelling enough answer and the, uh, what, what was my reasoning again? I can't remember uh, but my, right I have such such um, low self-worth that the voices in my head right now which makes me sound crazy are telling me uh, you're thick you're dumb um, what's the point you can't articulate well um, and and I give up I constantly give up but um, this also leads me on to why I feel being raised in a cult is so bad and it's that you just really are not given freedom of thought um, and everything you do is n not appropriate because the only person in this world, in our physical existence, is that um, Jehovah God be given glory. You should never seek glory yourself. That means if you want a higher education, if you want a career, all of that is frowned upon in Jehovah's organisation because it means that somehow, you are striving for personal success and how condemning that is. Well, because of that, many Jehovah's Witnesses don't realise that they have been trained to not think about their own success. And if they do, how shameful. Um, and I realise now that I'm not in, it's not shameful to want to succeed. I don't have the minerals to even try because for 27 years, well 29 years really, because I've only properly started to wake up and realise how destructive this cult has been for my development. Um, but yeah, I, I'm a 29 year old woman with no career at all, like no prospects and it's made me so depressed. Like. It's just a realisation of, oh fuck, where am I going? What is my life? And I felt so pathetic I've been suicidal because what can I accomplish? I don't feel satisfied even in myself. What have I got to live for? Because before I genuinely was living to serve my God Jehovah and for some reason that was enough for me. I mean, it's fucking not now, but how difficult. Is it alright if you don't stand in the road, please? Um, yeah, so that it, it's so tough. It's so tough when you leave, and I've I've felt watching people's videos have been so important to listen to as part of my own personal recovery. But also now I'm so lost. I don't know where to go. Like so. Okay, yeah. Right. We were raised to have really shit self worth. You know, you were raised not to have any friends, so now you don't have any friends. You never got a career because that was wrong, so now you don't have a career. What the fuck do I do with my life now? And I feel so underaccomplished. It's so depressing. Um. Yeah. So I'd really appreciate getting to know more ex-Jehovah's Witnesses and, and my age and women because I'm so fucking lonely <laughs> and that's that really doesn't help it doesn't contribute to my happiness I don't mind you going so um, yeah so um, anyone out there that wants to be my friend I'd be very grateful Tony Pointer you man you're my friend <laughs> Um, yeah, which is really nice. Charlotte, I know I've got you. I love you, girl. Um, these are like people that I work with that have, have watched my videos. Oh, how lovely. Anyway, I'm going to go because I feel like a dick again. I'm such a loser. I know I shouldn't say it, but like all my life, all my life, I have 
hated my soul. Um, well, no, actually, because sometimes I think, oh, I'm so cute. And I, I really I really revel in liking myself sometimes. But then I'm embarrassed. And, and I, I have to almost like ask, like, is it, is it okay if I like myself? <laughs> like, I'm not big-headed, am I? Like, that, that is what the Jehovah's Witnesses have done to me. Um, I mean, it's, it's so cruel. I mean, I'm surely, sure, I'm trying to convince myself now, but surely it's okay to kind of like yourself. And I know that I am a little bit irrit irritating. Like, when I meet people, I, I know that I can be quite intense and I try and hold back, but, you know, I don't think, like, they're that offended by my intensity. You know, they probably just find it a little bit overwhelming, but they get on with it, or, you know, they just choose never to meet me again. But other people, I get on really well with. Like, one girl at work yesterday was like, we should do lunch together. And honestly, I got in my car and I had a lump. I'm going to cry now, even thinking about it. Like, why does she want to go to lunch with me? <laughs> like, genuinely. Like, I've got such shit self-worth. And it's because of that organisation. And other Jehovah's Witnesses out there that feel the same way, I'm so on your side. So, yeah. Right. Love you all. Bye.